Whatever these contestants make out of watermelon, I'll pay for. Woo! You have five hours. Go. Okay. And what my friends don't know is that if they lose, there's actually a punishment that goes along with it. I bought the most sour watermelon candies I could find on the entire internet. If they lose, they're gonna have to eat this. It's really sour. The last time I won the watermelon challenge, I really want to do even better and win this one too. So I see you're choosing out your watermelon and your tools. If you can do this entire challenge with one tool, I'll give you an extra thousand if you win. That's just not possible. I'm sorry. I'm gonna. You're not gonna to take it. I'm gonna decline. If you don't want to take my deal, I'll go up to Michelle. So if you can win this entire challenge using only two tools, I'll give you an extra thousand dollars. You know what? I'll take it. Deal. Deal. Zach no. took me to an exotic zoo. I saw a couple of turtles doing the nasty. And now I really want one. Last time we did watermelon art, it was super, super hard. I'm hoping I can pull through with a win this time. I have no clue what I'm gonna make, so I'm gonna let the creative juices flow. This video is a little bit different from usual. They have to make what they want me to pay for. So if they make a watch, I'll get them a watch. If they make an animal, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna buy a tiger. Let's walk around and see what they're doing. Do you have an idea of what you're doing yet, Mackenzie? I'm going to do a tiki man. And is you that... want me to buy no, you no, no. a tiki no. man? It's to represent a trip to Hawaii. Jack, let me try to guess what you're making. Is it gonna be a car? Yeah! Oh! If you win, you actually want a turtle and yes. you'll take care of it? Yeah, we'll both take care of it. Both? Yes. Actually, come to the side and he give you a little inspirational okay. speech. I feel like in this video, you're the underdog artist here. Just don't worry about what people are doing around you. Theirs is gonna be good, but you gotta believe in yourself. I think one of your biggest weaknesses is just giving up too early. You're at the point where you can really compete with them. Give them a run for their money. Okay, I feel so inspired. All right, Jake, so I see that you're making a house, and I'm assuming you need a bit of help with your rent. So our rent is getting raised a little bit. In the rent's getting apartment. raised? Yeah. Oh, ben, and if you're watching this, I'm paying for Jake's part of the rent, not yours. Ryan, I see you're already doing a scenery. Honestly, I think it looks pretty cool so far. Here, I just need a vacation. If you win, I'm gonna hook you up with the best vacation yes. of your life. Let's go, I'm winning this. I hope you fail. Now that everyone got their topics, the artists got straight to work. But little do they know, I have another plan in store for them. We have three mini challenges for the artists to do. And it's gonna give them an advantage or a disadvantage. And it might affect their overall performance. Oh man, I already used one of two tools. They're the same thing. Bruh. I'm sorry. Everyone stop what you're doing. We're gonna do mini challenges. For the first one, we have a watermelon eating competition. <laughs> Wait, no, this looks so much thicker. Michelle, you like them thicker. Oh, okay. He's the one that cut it, so yell at him later. You can't just shove it all in your mouth. You have to swallow. Whoever swallows first wins. Oh, my goodness, Ryan has a giant one. Go! Jack's got a juicy one. <laughs> looks like Michelle's almost done. <laughs> you gotta raise your hand and show me your mouth. Jake, do you like watermelons? Oh my goodness, Ryan's not even close. This is ridiculous. This is gonna be close. Go, 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 go. All right, Jack's our winner. Michelle's second. Oh, Jake's third. I'll take the loss on that one. When I was little, my parents had a first come, first serve for dinner. So if I don't eat fast, I don't get to eat anything. And I'm a huge fan of Matt Stoney. Ryan, I'm sorry you lost, so here's what's gonna happen. You have to help first place for 15 minutes, second place for 10 minutes, third place oh, for five minutes. Thank God. Awesome. <laughs> I don't think I need your help. Oh, I'm gonna help you. I think for five minutes, I'm just gonna have you stare at the wall. Awesome. <laughs> Turkey is gonna be in the rest of the video with me. So hey, Jake. What? Look at your competitor. No, <laughs> so I started cutting into my watermelon. I have the nostrils and the eyes and the mouth. I probably thought about giving up about twice now. I feel very confident. No, I'm not very confident. I should sound more confident. He's doing such a great job. Boop. Well, my five minutes of staring at the swallow up now, thanks to Jake. So Hi, Ryan. It's my turn. I'm not what do you need me to do? Sure. I'm having Ryan clean my station because it's like the messiest like, one you know, here. Mackenzie, if you're going to want something more than a souvenir from Hawaii, you're going to have to do something related with traveling. So I saw this hack on TikTok. I'm not sure if they're messing with me or not, but we're going to try it. Let's see if it works. If you plug this into the watermelon, it'll charge your phone. I don't know if that's how electricity works. The cord's completely broke it. Now it doesn't do anything. Uh, Some things you see on the internet are dumb, unless you subscribe. 
I think you're pretty smart. Ryan, so I see you are currently helping Shaq out. Well, I was trying to decide if I was gonna do a really bad job because Mackenzie told me I was too nice. Well, on the Crafts Channel in the past, we have had people try to game the system and do a bad job. For those people, we double their work time. Whoa, that actually looks pretty good, Michelle. Honestly, I am quite proud of Michelle right now. Usually she goes through different phases where she gives up and then she keeps going, gives up, keeps going, and she usually ends up giving up. But I think today's gonna be different for her. Excuse me, sir. In my seat. Time-wise, not doing so great. But I just made these stairs. It's real estate. I got the turtle. I think now it's time to move on to the shell. They've been working for a while now, and I think they're getting comfortable. So we're gonna switch things up a little bit. Everyone, look up at the clock real quick. We have less than two hours. We do have our second mini challenge, so come with me outside. I'm telling myself not to give up, but I really felt like I should have. For this next challenge, we'll be doing watermelon bowling. So each of you guys have one watermelon, you have a lane, and you have 10 pins. So whoever knocks down the most pins gets to scoop a piece out of another person's watermelon art. Oh, oh my god! Oh, All right, Mackenzie, you're gonna be first. Do you have a strategy here? I'm gonna granny roll it. Oh, oh. Good job. I think everyone's gonna be able to get a strike. It wasn't that hard. No scoop for you. Go, Michelle. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hit Ben to the nuts. Hey, I didn't mean to. Nice. Ryan, you're the last hope. <laughs> no, spare. You had one left. Mackenzie, you're gonna be able to scoop someone's art. <laughs> Inside we go. <sighs> I'm kind of nervous that she's gonna scoop my art. Wouldn't be surprised, but I really hope she doesn't. Jax is cute and cartoonish right now. Jake's is looking pretty sweet. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I would say Shax looks Bruh. the best. You don't need to listen to me. I'm not telling you to scoop him. I, mean, I just host the videos. I'm so Seven. sorry, Shaq. I, really, I don't want to. Just do it on the side of something. I can't. Oh. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Shaq. She put her own fist on it. But it's okay. I'm still one person here. I feel really, really bad about what I did to Shaq's piece, but at the end of the day, I'm a terrible person. Yeah. She's making a helmet kiss. No. I need to give up now. Don't give up. Michelle, don't give up. Oh, the helmet too small. I want to cry. Actually, no, I am crying. How's everyone feeling? Sweaty. I will give you guys the next minute to pick out whatever watermelon you want. Melon on melon action. At this point in the competition, I feel like everyone's doing pretty well, but I kind of want to give them some advice and mentor. I think the main goal in all these challenges that we do is to bring out the full potential in each one of these talented artists. Let's go talk to each of them. I want to give each one of you guys the best chance of winning and I can spend a little bit of time talking to each one of you guys about strategies. You guys each can get like two minutes with me. You may stand behind there. Welcome to my office. I feel like if you want to win it, you should incorporate like little details on it. Okay. A couple planes, helicopters, stuff mm -hmm. like that. You're going to need a couple more impressive elements. I'm trying to work a little bit faster, but honestly, I don't know if I'm going to finish, so we'll see. All right, Michelle, how are you feeling right now? I feel terrible. Terrible? How come? I gave up. Michelle, the one piece of advice I had for you the whole challenge is to not give up. I know, but everyone kept saying my piece looks so bad. Maybe they think it looks bad and then it blossoms into something that's really good. Do you really think it was good? <laughs> Ryan and Mackenzie's are looking pretty good. Yes, they are. So you're gonna have to watch out for them. Yes, yes, yes. One of the things I like the most is detail. So if you can get a lot of detail, okay, cool, look nice. cool, wonderful. But Ryan, what, what I would do if I were you is I, would, I think I would add some more texture and I think that's one thing that might be missing from your piece. But I'm having fun listening to Jake. Been about 20 minutes straight whining so far. <laughs> Say hi to Petunia part two. Zach may not like it, but I like it. You have around 26 minutes and 30 seconds left. So. I have one final mini challenge for you guys. For this final mini challenge, you each have half a watermelon. Whoever cleans their watermelon first gets an advantage. Go. No. Raise your hand when you're done. I think I'm done. Ryan, I think you got it. So here's your advantage. You see how there's 23 minutes left on the clock? Well, for the rest of them, they only have 18 minutes left. Oh. Oh. I need all the time I can get, so this is definitely annoying. So I'm watching everyone struggle right now. They have about a minute left. Well, I did exactly what Zach told me, and I put Hawaii on the backside of the team with a plane. Therefore, it should win. Jake is literally rushing. I know I'm going to lose, so I'm just going to prepare for the side candy now. Three, two, one. Everyone stop what you're doing. Ryan, you have five minutes left. Ryan, why don't you tell me a little bit about your piece? I did a tropical beach, some palm trees, clouds, some trees, ready to go on a vacation. 
Try putting a little safari jeep in there. Very impressed with this. I, I think you did a pretty good job. I love how you have like this as your main display piece and then you have like a little like cute something on the side too. Very nice, Ryan, everyone. All right, Jake, tell me about your piece. This is a house. Uh, I really tried to get the depth of the pieces of the house uh, in the front and on the sides. The staircase is a very cool touch. I think the door is very nice. Like for five hours, I, I, I really wish you had some more detail on there. I wish there were some more like textures. It wasn't turning out so good. Mm -hmm. Either way, Jake, I think you did a good job. Hi, right, Michelle. So this is Fatini the second. It's another turtle. I made her in an hour. There's little turtle babies. Oh, that's kind of cool. I think you have a very cute functional piece. Perfect for parties with friends and family. However, I can tell it was made during your final hour. All right, Shaq, tell me about your piece. Now we got a convertible. I also have a bunch of different features on here. Working windshields to the window, antenna, and also if you come in a little bit closer, watermelon yeah. engine that's up in there, you feel me? I, I do really like all the details. So many cool things on here. Good job. Mackenzie, talk to me about your tiki torch. I just want to say at first. Are these excuses? No. I had made a little lay. I gave him a tongue. I tried to add some details like you asked for. And I think it turned out pretty good. I think it's pretty cool. I, I think it was a good choice making these extra textures. Okay. Very nice, Mackenzie. I'm very proud of all of you guys, but at the end of the day, only one of you guys can win. I'm gonna try my best to be unbiased and choose my favorite ones. And unfortunately, if you lose, you have to eat the most sour watermelon candy I could find on the internet. The person coming in fifth. I'm sorry, Michelle. Ah! All right, Michelle. Ah. All right. Hey, in fourth place, we have Jake. Ah. Put it in, Jake. Ooh. Now it's down to Ryan, Shaq, and Mackenzie. This is tough to do, but Shaq, please give this to Mackenzie. Yeah! <laughs> Your piece was very impressive, but I thought there were two better ones. Finally, we have Ryan and Shaq. This is a very tough decision. I, I wish I could give you guys a tie, but unfortunately, there can only be one winner. The winner of this challenge, drum roll. I think I'm gonna have to go with Shaq. Oh, hey! Hey, give him a give him a right. candy. Ryan, you're gonna have to eat this. Subscribe if you like this video. I'll see you guys next video. Oh, let's break it. Don't put that in. Turn it off.